We're now live. Well, thank you. Hey, what's up, y'all? We are headed. I just finished taping, so who knows what's still happening behind me. And I'm looking down because, well, I'm not Beyonce, and I'm going to fall down these stairs. <laughs> they were like, let's go live right as we're going downstairs. Um, so I, ho- I was told there were these fancy face fill connecting. Oh, well. Sorry, we were paused. You know what? The internet just couldn't handle all this. I just look so great. Oh, look at that. There's stars in my... It's very David Bowie. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey. Wait, what? These are crazy. Oh. I feel like it's a scary movie. Okay, we're going to a room. It looks like I'm going to the bathroom, but I'm not. Oh, we're going to the YouTube room. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to find my favorite filter. Ooh, what's that one? Oh, my God. That's so scary. Okay, are we setting it down? I should probably not do it like that because I look like I'm about to kill someone. Like, what? Wait, how do you get... I just want this to be happening while I'm answering. It's so pretty. Oh, wait, here. I'll straighten it up. There you go. Are you straightening it up? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to be answering some fan questions, y'all. Um, I just literally finished taping our second show for the day. It was really, really good. Or I think so. I don't know. See, she said it's good. Yeah. What can you talk to her about? So people have been asking what my new talk show is about, and it's basically about connection because I, I really said yes to doing this show because I'm just tired of all the division. I'm tired of everybody being like team this, team that. We're all one team. We're humanity, and I, we need to really start supporting each other, and even if we disagree, like have conversations about it, not arguments, um, and, and, you know, find commonalities. Um, find more commonalities rather than differences. So really, that's what I want to do with the show, and I want to have fun. Um, We've definitely had that. I have cried a few times. Shocking. I know. But I'm touched <laughs> all the time. What makes you different than other talk shows? Um, what makes... Oh, they sat me in a spinny chair. They shouldn't have done that. Because now I'm just going to do this the whole time and just make you dizzy with all my moons and stuff going on. How will this show be different from the others? Um, well, it's definitely different from daytime in the sense that we're incorporating what we've been doing on tour for years, like over a decade now. Um, we've been, uh, covering songs that people request from the actual audience. So we're doing that actually on, um, with a studio audience here. Um, people submit a bunch of songs and, um, everybody, t- you know, what show you're coming to. And then, um, I end up doing a song, a fan request. Um, it's not generally mine cause that'd be super vain. Um, but I do love artists and I love singing and, um, you know, I know a lot of artists, or not artists, fans were asking, um, oh no, you're doing a talk show, does that mean you're not making albums or touring? We are still making albums. I'm actually working on my album right now. And um, we are still going to be doing shows, and I'm still doing The Voice. Because you know why? I have a lot of energy. It can get overbearing and annoying, but just lean in. Okay, next. <laughs> can you go through the face filters and kind of like rate them and give your feedback? Face filters? Well, I really like this one. It's like I'm on a fancy football team with this number happening. I don't. Or actually, it looked like somebody just targeted my forehead. So all these filters. Oh, I have flowers. I feel like I'm a wanna. Flowers growing out of my, oh, is this an animal? Oh, that's cute. How do you make the ears go up? Ah. Oh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, okay, oh, it's a kitty. I'm allergic to cats, but I do love them, but I'm highly allergic. Um, that one's a little boring. Oh, it's just like floating hearts? Well, uh, um, and this is just random hearts. Is there like a space one? I want to be in space. Oh, well, oh, here we go. It's like, um, it's like a whole solar system. All right. All right. We got any more? Qu- I want to do solar system for a while. Look at this. Or I'm an angel. It's definitely a solar system. <laughs> now we're going to play Would You Rather. Would I rather? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Would you rather have, do you want to repeat them out loud? Would you rather I'll repeat have them snakes out loud. for hair or carrots for fingers? Would I rather have snakes for hair or carrots for fingers? I'm definitely going to go, are these like Medusa type snakes that can like freeze people to stone? (laughs) Then I might go there because there are some people that are already stone cold inside that aren't doing anything for planets. We'll just freeze them up. (laughs) And I don't want to be carrots. I don't want my digits to be carrots because then I eat them and I have no hands. (laughs) Would you rather eat garlic ice cream or steak covered in sugar? I would rather have garlic ice cream. I really love garlic. My husband probably doesn't like the fact that I eat garlic sometimes, and I'm like, you know, come here, give me a kiss. Uh, <laughs> but I do. Can you read them out loud? Never watch Game of Thrones again. 
uh, would I never watch Game of Thrones again or never watch a Meryl <gasps> Street movie again? I'm really sorry, but Game of Thrones just took a nosedive. Because I would never not watch Meryl Streep. Ever. Ask my husband. Ask him how many times he's seen It's Complicated in our bed. Because <laughs> it's a lot. It's my happy place. Okay, would I okay, have to compete again on American Idol or do a voice cross battle against Gwen Stefani? Wait, have to compete again? I would love to compete again on American I like competing. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a tad bit competitive because <laughs> um, I enjoy it. Even if I don't win, I enjoy it. I just got my butt handed, me, handed to me today in a game on my show, but I still loved it because I'm competitive. Okay, death by freezing in the Arctic, or what the hell is happening? This is so weird. Um, or death by walking through the Sahara Desert. I'd rather freeze. I don't know. I feel like it's a quiet, like, going out party, you know? I feel like the desert, I, w- I don't like being hot. Yeah, I don't like being hot, L.A. Y'all promised me good weather, okay? This is like the south heat. It's like 100 degrees where I live right now in L.A. Nope. I didn't come here for that. <laughs> I was told it was nice weather. Lies and deception. Be one inch tall or be three stories tall. I think it'd be fun to be itty bitty. I think it'd be funny. You know how skinny you'd be? One inch tall. <laughs> or you're rolling. Maybe. And even if you gained weight, you'd be cute because you're miniature. Little roly poly. Yeah. Be constantly followed by 32 ducks. I mean, yes. <laughs> or be chained to one giant duck. I'd want to be followed around by 32 ducks. I love that it's 32 as well because I like even numbers. Be handcuffed okay, to your husband or be handcuffed to one of your children. Well, I've been handcuffed to my husband. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> because we're adults and it's fun time. Um, go back in time or go into the future. I'm a woman. I don't want to go back to any time before now, okay? Because women didn't have it so great. And I'd want to go to the future because, like, hopefully it's better. Or we're all just dead because we've ruined everything. Like the planet and each other. Greed and power, y'all, is going to kill us. Would you rather sweat maple syrup or have your skin permanently covered in a layer of Cheeto dust? Whoa, I would love the Cheeto dust. Isn't that the best part when you've had it? Not that I do this, um, but I've heard that people, when they eat Cheetos, it gets all over your fingers, and then they, like, lick it off at the end. I don't do that because I'm skinny. Um, Would you rather be able to speak every language? That one. Oh, or be able to speak to animals? (gasps) I like animals more than humans. I'd rather speak to animals. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have hair for teeth? Oh, my God, or teeth for hair? I don't want either in any world. Wait, hair for teeth? Oh, that's like when, even when you get a hair in your mouth, I don't ever want, no. I say no. I say no to both of those, and I can. Beep do. All right. All right, now so we're what's up next? Fans, fan now we're, oh, those weren't from fans, those were from you? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, thought those, I, I was like, I have some crazy fans, but it's you. <laughs> it's a, okay, wait, I'm going to switch this up. You go ahead. You okay. go ahead. Whoa. Um, do you want to oh. read their name too? Or not? Okay. okay. Brian underscore Crossin, maybe? Sounds good. Um, do any of your family members hang out on the set while you're filming the show? Actually, Brian, my family is here today. Um, I was filming this week and they decided to come. Well, I can't be- they can't believe I have a show. <laughs> so I had to see it in person. Um, AJ Bradstreet, um, what do you enjoy the most about having your own show? Is there anything you miss? Um, I love having my own show. I love talking. I can't even believe I'm getting paid for this. Like, I I got in so much trouble. All you kids out there getting in trouble, you should be respectful to your teachers first and foremost. But if you do like talking, don't worry. It's going to work out in the end. Okay. Um, Val Dedrick, you think? Dedrick? Okay. How do you balance work and kids with a village? Um, 
I'm not lying. I have a village. You know, a lot of people have grandparents that help out or moms that help out. Our family doesn't live here. We have the best nanny in the world, best nannies, actually, with people that help us. And um, just a really good support. I have the greatest assistant in the world. She's right over there, Trisha Farrow. She's amazing. I couldn't do anything without her. That's not a lie. <laughs> like, most things happen because of Trisha. Because um, there's a lot going on. Um, Allison, 1981. Ooh, a year apart from me. Um, must haves in your dressing room tea it looks like an apothecary <laughs> i have all these little mason like tiny little mason jars filled with all my favorite teas that are beneficial for health and also that just taste good and honey and i'm not gonna lie i nest i'm a nester so it looks as if i've been living in my office for like many seasons when really it's just been a week <laughs> okay laura kl 10 what segment of the show do you enjoy the most Ooh, that's hard. I mean, because I get to open singing every show, so I love that. It makes me, it's my wheelhouse, and it gets me comfortable. Um, and then I also love the end of the show because we do this thing, What I'm Liking, and it's usually fun, some funny or really sweet thing on um, social media that we highlight. But I do have some really awesome guests. We have Rad Human thing that we do, and we um, highlight just really rad humans doing really rad things for people, and we want those people to pass it on. We want it to kind of create this domino effect. So KC Fan 24-7, <laughs> I like your name. Uh, new mom over here. Ooh, good luck. Uh, mom advice. Well, good luck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, um, no, it's awesome. Being a, it's literally, I know this sounds like such a just douche cliche statement, but I love my children. They're so cool. I can't even imagine. I never wanted to be married or even to have kids. Literally total gypsy party of one. Um, but now we're party of a lot more than one <laughs> and we have four kids and I have a lovely husband and, um, I don't know. I can't imagine life without them. And I, I think even though the hard times and the t you're going to be times when you want to just trap yourself in the bathroom with maybe some wine and a Bible and it's fine. It's going to just keep swimming. Just like Dory said, it's going to be fine. And we're all failing at something in parenting. So you're not alone, but we're all succeeding as well. They're going to have to have something to talk about in therapy. Let's give them something. Cadence um, Dowdy. Did you ever come up with those nicknames for you and Brandon? Oh, yes. Uh, no, well, no, we didn't. But I just mean, yes, I remember where this came from. But no, we don't have nicknames. I mean, we say like, babe, like, that's it. Like, but I'm a cocktail waitress. So I mean, that's not really like a nickname for him. I call like everyone, babe. So I mean, I'm not a cocktail waitress anymore. I just mean I used to. And I feel like when you have been, everyone is babe. <laughs> um, Kate Bay or B or Bay 404. I don't know what that is. What do you do? Why did I sing it? I don't know. Um, what do you do to relax? Do you relax? You're like me. Go, go, go. Um, I do relax. At the end of the day, we have like date night every night. We put our kids down. Um, we start at seven. I end around eight. Um, and um, then my husband and I, we put some vinyl in sometimes or watch It's Complicated by Meryl Streep. Um, or we just ch chill and hang out and um, just kind of, um, I don't know, decompress a bit. And, and that's it. Like I, I'm pretty good at chilling. I like baths. I love baths. Um, Meg plus the twins. Gosh, I'm sorry. Just your name alone explains a lot that you are sometimes sad. That's a lot. Twins, wow. Should I be mad that my wife is leaving our twins and me to go see you next week? <laughs> no, she deserves it. Let her go. Because you know what? We all need a minute, right? And a glass of wine. Um, we do. We need a minute. And you, you're better for your kids. Like, I don't care. Ever, all those moms that are like, oh, I don't need a minute. I love my children all the time. I love my children all the time. But I need a minute. I don't want to pee with another kid in the room. Or another. I don't want one in there. I, don't, I want to be able to do my business by myself, take a shower by myself. My kid is always trying to take a shower with me. I'm like, no. I want to take a shower. I want to be naked by myself. Get off of me. <laughs> like, I love you. I'm going to snuggle with you in a minute. Bye. Um, because I'm raising independent kids, so. <laughs> oh, outro? Okay. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> this is my outro. <laughs> I'm like Ron Burgundy. <laughs> outro. <laughs> no, okay. I didn't know. I, I literally am Ron Burgundy. That's amazing. Okay. Um, go yourself, San Diego. Um, you thought I was going to say it a little bit. You thought I was going to say it. Oh, you can get tickets on our website, come see our show. Um, it's fun. It's really fun to come see the show. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Obviously, we have to edit shows down. So there's a lot of extra stuff you get to see that no one else does. 
like maybe my potty mouth. Sorry, mom. Um, then, but what? around this time tomorrow, you're also doing a YouTube and Facebook live Q and A. Oh, around this time tomorrow, you probably heard her, but I'll just reiterate <laughs> it, just in case you were like, what? Um, we're doing a live YouTube and what are we Facebook. doing? Oh, and Facebook thing tomorrow around the same time tomorrow. So it's after we tape a couple shows. It's gonna be awesome. It'll be great like this. I'll start with intro. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> I'm Kelly Clarkson. Peace out. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know how to end it. Oh, <laughs> outro. <laughs>